Rockefeller Center has become quite the dining destination, and today we are taking you to one of the newest and most talked about. We're giving you a taste of La Rock. Congratulations, you've officially been open for two months. How is Rockefeller Center treating you? So far, so good. It's been, uh, it's been a great experience. I mean, it's obviously, opening restaurants is always tough and there's a lot of work going involved and uh, long hours, but uh, great staff and great, uh, great turnout. So, so far, so good. I mean, we know you from Frenchette, Frenchette Bakery. People are obsessed with everything you do, but you're downtown, guys. What brought you to Midtown? I took the F train. <laughs> Very good. I think. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, look, to have an opportunity of uh, opening and operating a restaurant in Rockefeller Center, I think, uh, sort of speaks for itself. What's it like to be in 45 Rock? Did you incorporate that into the design at all? Oh, for sure. Definitely took some uh, cues from uh, the different lobbies and buildings, architecture around here. Like the terrazzo floors, everyone says, oh, wow, how long have they been here for? And like, no, they're brand new. We put them in here but um, it's all kind of trying to grab pieces of what's outside. Talk to me about the cuisine. What were you going for here? All foundation on classic French cooking, um, stuff we've been doing all our lives, so it's kind of dear to our heart and what we know best. Classic dishes like uh, steak au poivre, we have a bison au poivre, so it's a little leaner than, than steak, but it's the same type of preparation, classic preparation, leeks vinaigrette, escargot, uh, profiteroles, Yum, 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 and <laughs> yum. Oh, wow. This looks delicious. <laughs> so here are a few items from the menu. What would you bring out? So this is our uh, coquillage platter, which is shellfish. And it's an assortment of different things. You can order these things separately if you wanted to. Just have oysters or just have uh, razor clams. But uh, it's nice to have this large presentation and it's very shareable. Oysters, which change uh, weekly. Uh, we have a uh, crudo scallop here, which is mm -hmm. some lemon and uh, olive oil. Uh, razor clams. We have a whole um, Dungeness crab that's poached and all the meat's picked clean and it goes back in the, uh, in the head there with all the different uh, accoutrements, uh, sieved egg, capers, parsley, and you mix a little of this uh, mayonnaise in there. Yeah, that looks awesome. This is such a beautiful presentation. Mm. We have a bison au poivre, so we're all familiar with a steak au poivre. This is a bison tenderloin coated in uh, crushed Sarawak uh, peppercorns. And uh, it's a pan sauce with uh, a little bit of cognac, uh, pickled green peppercorns, shallots, touch of mustard, veal jus and cream. So this is the uh, leeks vinaigrette. Roast the leeks and dress it with uh, oil made from leek tops and herbs. So this is our baba cart. So we do a table side baba uh, au chartreuse or uh, green elixirs. Mm, I'm drunk. Exactly. Not time. Guys, thank you so much for having us today. This was fun and delicious. I can't wait to come back. Hey, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.